Hey guys, first we are going to make a succulent like we see on the right. We're going to grab from shapes, we're going to grab this and make it whatever color you wish your succulent to be. Once you do that, you are going to grab a move and a scale. The move's z axis is going to be 30. And the scale's z-axis is going to be 3. We're going to grab a copy. And what this copy does is copies the shape, the move, and the scale. Because we're going to use this a lot. And we don't need to do this a thousand times. Because that will get very crazy. We're going to grab another move. Excuse me. We're going to grab scale and then two moves. Now the scale's z-axis is going to turn into a 0.75. The move's z-axis, the first one, is going to change into a negative 8. The move's y-axis is going to change into a 10. And we're going to grab a rotate. We're going to rotate it around axis x by negative 15 degrees. We're going to go to math. We're going to grab an x, y, and z code block and put it in this little circle. If it doesn't want to go in, usually you just hit the, put the x on the right corner of your circle and it should then go in. We're going to grab a repeat. We're going to change the repeat times to 5. So this is going to repeat 5 times. We're going to... Grab a rotate and a copy. The rotate is going to rotate around axis Z by 80 degrees. We're going to go to math again and grab X, Y, and Z code block. Remember, if you want to take a screenshot of this, this is what it's supposed to look like. And we'll see what so far what we have. Okay, that's looking good. And now after we do that, we're going to grab a copy. We're going to grab a scale. We're going to grab two moves and a rotate. Scale. Excuse me for that scale. Um, scale two moves and a rotate. Now the scale's z axis is going to change to a 0.75. After that, we're going to change the moves first move z axis to negative five. And negative five and 0.75 are not the same. 0.75 is still above positive, while negative five is below positive well negative uh, we're going to change the second moves y axis to 10. we're going to change the x axis and negative 15. we're going to go to math grab a code block of x y and z and then we're going to grab a repeat we're going to repeat this now by of course it doesn't want to go we're going to repeat this now by 11. Once we repeat this by 11, we're going to grab a rotate and a copy. Back to modify, a rotate and a copy. We're, after that, we're going to rotate it on axis Z by 30 degrees. So axis Z by 30 degrees. Go back to math and grab an X, Y, and Z. After we do that, we're going to play it and see how it goes. And again, Z is up, X is green, and Y is red. Once this gets done, we are going to move on to the next. So that's looking pretty good so far. 
after that, we're going to grab a copy. Uh, again, it's pretty repetitive. There's just different numbers. We're going to grab a scale, two moves, and a rotate. Uh, scale, two moves, and a rotate. After we grab scale, two moves, and a rotate, we're going to change the scale's Z axis to 0.75. We're going to change the first move's Z axis to negative 5. After that, we are going to go to move, the second move, and change the Y axis to 10. We're going to rotate it around axis X by negative 15 degrees. And we're going to grab an X, Y, and Z from the math section and put it in there. We're going to grab a repeat, and we're going to repeat this 11 times. Grab a copy and a rotate. And we should have another layer. So 11, a copy, and a rotate. The rotate is going to rotate around axis Z, and it's going to go around axis Z 30 times. So axis Z 30 times, and go to math once again, and grab another X, Y, and Z code. So axis Z, and go back down, X, Y, and Z. And we'll have another layer. So this layer is, you can stop here if you really wanted to. Uh, I'm going to do one more layer just so it looks uh, more pumped up. After this, we're going to... For the last time, grab copy, scale, two moves, and a rotate. But I'll wait till this is finished. Okay, so a copy, a scale, two moves, and a rotate. This is the last time doing this, so we are almost done. Copy, scale, two moves, and a rotate. This is what it's going to look like so far. Kind of a pyramid kind of look. But I'm going to have another layer right here. We're going to grab another move and a rotate. We're going to rotate. No, we're going to change the scale Z axis to 0.75. We're going to change the moves, first moves Z axis to negative 5. Move the Y 10. Y axis to 10. So, so 0.75, go to negative 5, no. and 10. And we're going to be doing minus 3. Axis 8 by negative 15 and degrees. And, and then for the second three. to last time, go we're to math. To Grab an X, Y, and Z code block. Well, I know we're we're going to go idea. back down. Yeah. Now and see. grab a last repeat. Repeat it 11 times. And after we repeat it 11 times, we're going to grab a copy and a rotate. And that should be it. The rotate is going to go around the axis Z and by 30 degrees. And lastly, for the last time, Grab another X, Y, and Z from the math code. This is and that's all the code to make a succulent. If you want to stay and watch 15, it form, you can, or you can 15, re repeat it and move on your own. 15, and this is what the code should look like if you forgot anything. There you go. Here, and, the and then all the way down here, okay. and back easy. down. So this is where we stopped before, is, but I just went lower. Again, Rotate. you can stop here if you want, or you can go, go lower with me. And we are you do, you finished here, and minus 45. 